I'm sharing my top 10 gadgets on Amazon that are $10 or less. I'm Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome back to my channel. Guys, now this is my top 10 favorites on Amazon that you can get right now that are less than $10 each. I'm doing something brand new where I'm kind of cleaning out clutter and I'm trying to kind of compact storage and different things like that. And uh, believe it or not, when you find little gadgets like what I've been finding, they actually help with that because then you can get rid of some things that are just too big or some things that you're not using. Um, the one thing that we're gonna start off with right away, and these are items that I have bought multiple, multiple times, these silicone sponges now this is a three pack that you can get on Amazon right now it's a three-piece set they're four dollars and 97 cents but these last so long y'all they first of all they're bright beautiful colors they're super fun they've got a blue one hello a blue one but what I like about them is they've got these kind of knobby finishes to them and um there are two different sides that I'm sure that the two different sides probably do different things. They, they feel kind of similar to me. But I will tell you, I have used and used and used and used and used these. I probably bought my first package of these about six months ago or so. And uh, I've been using them nonstop. So definitely check those out. They do come in like a little... Uh, kind of a Ziploc-y bag. I like to just keep them out after I've cleaned. What I also really like about them is that they've got this little hook here on the top. So I have been um, kind of uh, doing a reno in my kitchen and I'm gonna show you some of that in a little while. I actually took down the peel and stick tile that I had put up years ago and did an actual backsplash. So when I took off the peel and stick, it was perfectly fine. And, uh, you know, I expected some paint to peel away. Not a big deal at all. And then uh, I went through the process and I, I worked with the local contractor to kind of get the kitchen in a better spot. And I did a tile backsplash. Now the tile, the grout and the um, edge, I'll have it here on screen because I can never remember what that edge is called, um, all came from actually Floor Decor. Now Floor Decor is not a sponsor of this video, however, I want you to sponsor videos for me, Floor and Decor. And uh, I have projects around the house that I want to continue to do. Um, I would like to retile the kitchen floor, hint, hint, Floor and Decor. And also I would like to possibly uh, redo the bathroom and honestly just kind of do a gut in there. So Floor and Decor, if you're listening, hello, my name is Jamie, I'm the crafty DIY guy. And uh, I have reached out to your uh, influencer marketing team and your my package and everything has been forwarded over to you guys but uh, you guys if you would tag floor and decor in the comments below let them know that uh, they need to work with the crafty diy guys so you guys can see more kitchen stuff and more bathroom stuff i am so happy with the way that this turned out I'm still going to be doing some paint still going to be doing some other things in the kitchen but uh, for right now that is everything with floor and decor now the next item that i got this is a six piece kind of um gadget set and uh these are the six pieces but what's cool about it is they all fit inside this little bag here so what are you getting right here well i've got the box down here in front of me so i can show you everything you're getting a pizza cutter how convenient is that and by the way you notice the little holes if you've got command hooks and you've got space on the inside of your cabinets you can take command hooks and you can easily put this up on the wall and on the inside of your cabinet door and uh, that even saves you so much more space um so with this set you get the pizza cutter and i think they all kind of like yeah they all kind of stacked on top of each other so you could even get like a little key ring or something like that and have all six gadgets together if you really wanted to um the other thing that you're getting let's see where's my cheat sheet the bottle opener so we've got the pizza opener we've got the bottle opener but see these little holes right here? This is a um, herb stripper. So you put herbs in there and you can strip the herbs away, which I think is super, super cool. Now there is also a cheese grater and uh, there's two different sizes here. So I think one is a potato grater and one is a cheese grater. I'm gonna say that that's probably the potato grater because um, just from the way my hash browns look at home. And uh, that one is super, super cool. And then that one is for cheese. I would imagine like a hard cheese, like Parmesan is probably perfect for that. The next thing, let's see. Um, uh, oh, this is a vegetable peeler. And I think, 
Oh, that's the herb stripper. So that's a peeler. That's a peeler for sure. I know what that is. That's the herb stripper. So what are the holes here by the bottle by the bottle opener? It doesn't say what that is. Do you guys know what that is? Maybe it's just for a different kind of herb. I would love to know. If you know in the comments, definitely let me know below because that is going to bug me now. And then this, which I think is super cool, is a ginger grater. Um, in full transparency, would I use this? Probably not. It came a part of the package. I typically will take like my kind of microplane like this, the smaller kind of cheese grater, and I will use that for my ginger because I do like pieces of ginger. Now, if you don't like the pieces of ginger, you could do that. By the way, cool, cool tip I learned a long time ago from a professional chef. If you have uh, fresh ginger, and you know, it's still got the woody stem on it and everything, or the, the skin, you don't have to peel it. You can actually take your ginger, put it in the freezer, put it in the freezer, and then if you use like a microplane or something like this and just grate it, peel it all, you don't even taste it. You don't even taste it. In fact, I think it gives it a lot more flavor. So you could get a big ring. You could get like a binder clip or something like that for all of this. However, I, and probably either going to end up using this bag here and just kind of keeping everything in this bag, which is super, super convenient, or, and that takes up like no space at all, or with this, I will probably end up taking command hooks and um, hanging this up inside the kitchen cabinet because why wouldn't I? It's such a good thing to do. Now, this next thing, this is one of my favorite things. I've uh, bought this before. I actually bought these also for my dad. These are meat shredders. Now these are plastic ones. I've seen metal ones. The plastic ones are, are decent. Um, if you're wanting to experiment, um, these were $8.88. By the way, I don't know if I told you the kitchen gadget set. That was only $4.99 for all six pieces. So all of the items that I'm talking about today, I'm going to have them linked in the description box below. Um, you won't have to go to a storefront or anything. You'll see the links in the description box. So definitely check those out. Meat shredders. If you are cooking anything in like your crock pot, my, my mom got me a beautiful new crock pot from the Dreher, Dreher, from the Drew Barrymore collection of beautiful at Walmart. And I love this crock pot so much. I've also got that link down below. If you are in the need of a new crock pot, it is huge. It has a warming feature, it has a low, it has a high, it has everything. It has a like a um, little stand to put the lid on if you're at a party or something like that. That was probably my favorite thing. But if you are cooking any kind of meat, chicken, beef, anything in the crock pot, anything in the oven, you want to shred this up, these are great to do that. And what I love about this is that you can, because they are plastic, they're not gonna scratch the inside of your, um, you know, your crock pot, unless of course you go super aggressive and you're like a crazy man with it. But uh, these aren't for this, although they probably could be used for that. But this is for your chicken and for shredding up your chicken and beef and like for tacos for, I love to take chicken now, especially shredded chicken and uh, make up like a bunch of it and then just keep it throughout the week. That way I have something to kind of, you know, munch on with salads or use like that. So meat shredders, these by the way, were only, $8.88. So the next thing, staying in the meat family here, is a tenderizer. This is a meat tenderizer. It was $7.79. And I really like this one as well. This one got some fantastic reviews on Amazon. And, uh, you know, what I like about it is that it's going to kind of protect your hands. Obviously, I'm not going to push it down right now because that will be painful. And uh, as you can see, when you do push into the meat, the um, kind of nails or the, the tenderizers part come out there and uh that's pretty extreme and uh if you are cooking any kind of a chuck roast or a beef even just chicken breast and things i will tenderize the meat almost all the time and what i love about the size of this one honestly is that if you're using any kind of herbs or any kind of salt and pepper or anything like that that is going to really get inside the meat and it does make a big difference i am um working on meal prep and trying to do a lot of meal prep throughout the year. And um, this is helping so much, especially having that tenderizer and then also having something like this to be able to shred up my meat. Now, the other thing that I did grab, and this is a four pack, these are a silicone um, collapsible funnels. Again, thinking about my space, thinking about the limitations that I have within my space, having a funnel 
that are a couple different sizes here are fantastic, but the fact that they are collapsible is even better. Again, you're getting three of these for, what did I say? Um, they're actually $5.39. I think I said a little more expensive. I think I said seven something at first. $5.36, 38 cents for four, four piece. And uh, you can see they're pretty good size here. And because they're silicone, you can use these in the kitchen. You can use these for a lot of different things. And uh, what I like to do, and uh, I had an old roommate one time who used to do this, and I used to think, gosh, you're insane. What are you doing? But uh, he would take a funnel like this and uh, tip over like a shampoo bottle or something like that where, you know, you were kind of digging down to uh, get the very last drop, and he would just like put this inside the bottle. He would tip over the bottle and uh, put it in there. I think he had something specifically that was for like... Um, drips and stuff. I didn't want to get that technical, but I can keep one of these because there are four different colors. I can keep one of these maybe in the craft room, use it with paints and stuff. I can keep one of them in the bathroom for that example with um, shampoo bottles or trying to get the every last drop of something. I can keep one in the laundry room and then I can also keep one in the kitchen. And then again, because these do kind of collapse all down, these are going to be very, very easy to store. Now, a you know, again, I, I cleaned out my kitchen cabinets recently and got rid of a ton of stuff, but the stuff that I got rid of was honestly things and gadgets and things that I just was not using. And so I needed to have more space for some of the things that I was using. And again, these I can stick inside the drawers. I'm doing something right now with some command hooks and a kind of a Dollar Tree organization video. And uh, you'll see those hooks come out but um, this is kind of a no-brainer, like this is perfect. And they're, they're a little wonky to try and get them to collapse in, but once they do, pretty cool. And um, I can keep these practically anywhere, so that is really, really cool. All right, the next thing on my list, um, kitchen scissors. It sounds crazy. Um, they make a huge difference when you're prepping like salads or even when you're cutting meat or anything like that. By the way, if my hair is starting to look a little wonky, I did get up only about probably 20 minutes ago. Uh, but uh, these kitchen shears are really, really great. Now, if you have a knife block or something like that that holds uh, kitchen shears, which I do, um, I don't know where the kitchen shears went. I've lost them. But um, that's kind of why I bought this two-piece set because my knives are black, so you can put this in here. Now, they also come with this sleeve on them, which is going to protect your blade. And uh, for this one, I am going to probably put this one in the knife block and uh, I'll keep it in the sleeve as well because the sleeve will fit in there. I've already tested that. And I'll have that on hand for when I want to do something. But they are color coded. So if I wanted to keep maybe this one in like the drawer, for example, and only use this one for vegetable prep. Um, if you're cooking any kind of a salad or anything like that or making any kind of something with vegetables, it's great. And it, it sounds insane. But instead of chopping, do this. I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference and it makes prep really, really fast. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, um, convenience is, I would much rather do convenience and grab something real quick than actually try and cook something sometimes. So that's something that I'm trying to uh, also minimize. So if I can go this route instead, I will do it. And I have used larger kitchen shears even for like, larger vegetables and things like that. Not so much hard vegetables, but like cucumbers and squash and different things. So it is possible. Just obviously be careful. Um, uh, wanting to kind of keep in that trend of cooking things that are good or easy. Five ingredients or less. Now, I know it says college cookbook. By the way, this was $8.81. The kitchen shears were $7.63 for the two pack. This cookbook is not what I ate in college at all. Um, this is like tuna cakes with potato skins and you use like canned tuna with it. And you know, it's things, somebody's coming to say hi. He got in trouble the last time we filmed a video. So hopefully he will not do that today. And um, he was over there trying to eat something that um, would have hurt him. And uh, it's sectioned off. I love a cookbook that also have, has pictures. I want to see something. Quinoa taco casserole. Like there's all kinds of things. Broccoli cheddar soup, a lentil soup, like all kinds of fun recipes that are in here. Hey, Otis, don't you do that. He literally walked back over to the area where he got in trouble before. 
something about a cord. There's a cord over there. I need to like wipe it down with some, some cleaner so he won't uh, keep trying to eat it. Uh, the other thing that I did grab, this is a fogless shower mirror. Now I am a guy that loves to shave my beard, my face in the shower. I have not shaved today. And um, this has a film on it right now. I'm sorry, that's the messy craft room. Uh, but there's a film on it right now, so it kind of looks a little cloudy. But uh, just so you know, what you do is you peel this off here. Or I'm sorry, you peel this off the back because, yes, this is a little holder. This is a hook that goes onto your tile, and then you just kind of hold your mirror like this. That way, you are shaving and you want to look at your face. You can grab this off of here if you need to, or if you're shaving something else and you need a mirror there. You can pull it down for that, but then also you can just hang it up and it stays there. Look, there's my cheat sheet and there's my camera. Very, very simple process here, folks. Um, this mirror was um, $7.97. I was in need of a new shaving mirror, so that just kind of came up perfectly. Um, I found the Miracle, um, the pink stuff, the pink stuff. When, uh, if you guys remember, if you follow me and you saw when I was doing a DIY, I had a candle explode in my kitchen and, um, and wax went everywhere. There's still wax that I have to clean up. And um, I use pink stuff for that process and it came up so much easier than I was expecting. And uh, the pink stuff here, uh, this is a foaming toilet cleaner. So I thought, why not try it? Because I know the other pink stuff that I had, I loved it so much. There's two treatments in this box. It was $5.67. I personally can swear by the pink stuff, just foaming cleanser. And then the, um, it's almost like a, um, it's almost like a powder, but it's a cleanser. That's what I used for the kitchen when the wax went everywhere. And this pink stuff was amazing. And I'm still waiting for the pink stuff to reach out and say that they want to do a collaboration together. So pink stuff. Hey, here I am pimping your stuff again, but definitely check this out again, two treatments, a foaming toilet cleaner, um, toilet bowl cleaner that, um, it looks like you can just pour it right in there. It helps aid in lime scale remover. It helps deep clean. There's two, I think there's two treatments per package maybe. Um, but yeah, you tear open the sachet, you pour the contents in the toilet and you watch the foam rise. I don't have to do anything. You leave it for 10 minutes. Oh, and then you brush and you flush. So not a whole, not a whole process at all. Very, very easy to do. You could do this. I could do this in between video takes and uh, come back to a clean toilet. So why not do that? This is something that I bought for me to be able to have for my, uh, real estate packet. Now this is called the Eversea. This is, uh, by the way, the pink stuff, $5.67. This Eversea kind of multi-tool gadget thing was $9.99. And I did take it out here so you can see it. By the way, it came with this keychain, which I think is super cute. And it says, if you can't, if you can't fix it, no one can, which I thought was really fun, especially from a DIY perspective. I'm gonna keep this in my real estate toolkit because of this little multi-tool that kind of looks like a key really has a lot of different things to it. So I pulled out the little thing I'm a bob so I could um, tell you literally everything that's in here. This is uh, kind of kind of insane that it does this much. So. There is a uh, lanyard hole, which is where I've got the keychain in. So if you wanted to wear this around your neck, you could. Um, there is a wire stripper. Um, I don't know where everything is, so I'm just gonna hold it in there and we're just gonna read. Um, there's a wire stripper. There is a metric closed wrench. There's an M8, an M6, an M5, an M4, an M3 and a half, and an M2. And then there's a metric open wrench M1.6. I'm sure I'll use that. Um, there's a bottle opener. I know I'll use that. And then there is an imperial open wrench. There is a serrated edge and there's a box opener. There's also, um, oh no, there's something called a pipe. There's a screwdriver that is good for um, slotted and Phillips screws and a combo screws. Don't know what combo screws are. And uh, there's also a ruler. There's a lot of stuff all within this one little gadget. And um, I'm probably gonna take the keychain off of there and just put the keychain on my keys because 
I'm a crafty DIY guy, right? And uh, this little multi-tool is gonna go in my real estate kit in the car. I cannot tell you how many times I've gone to an open house and then realized that I didn't have a bottle opener or that um, I went to an open house one time and the uh, closet handle in the, uh, the hallway closet door handle had been loose and it was an antique, uh, it was an older home and uh, it just needed a screw tightened. It was an empty house. There was no like butter knife that I could go grab in the kitchen or anything like that. So having that kind of thing on hand will be great for stuff like that. And then the last thing, um, if you guys have uh, windows in your house, I'm assuming we all do, and uh, there are, um, you know, blinds and things. And then there's all those little nooks and crevices and crannies that, uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but mine always seem to collect a crazy amount of dirt. Now, I'm fortunate I do have a housekeeper that comes and she helps me every other week. Um, but I'm thinking more so for the outside windows, especially like on the front porch when I'm sitting out there on the front porch. These little handheld gap cleaner tools. This was a two pack. These were $5.97. These are great for that. Now, the, br the bristles are stiff but they're not like crazy stiff. So they've got a good um, kind of resistance to them, if that makes sense. I love the handle, super, you know, it's that ergonomic to give you a lot of different options to be able to hold them and to kind of get down in there. I'm sure that that is for kind of loosening some stuff that's in there. They're, they're the exact same size. So I don't think that um, they could be, you know, there's not like you use one for one type of window and one for the other type of window. I was even thinking like, so the junk box, right, that my mom does, this type of thing could very easily go into the junk box because you could separate this. You could give one to me, one to my sister. So that's another thing. But again, this is everything that I found on Amazon that is less than $10. I think I gave you a bonus item. I think I had 11 items total. I will have all of these linked for you in the comments below. And then also I will link my Drew Bear More Beautiful crock pot. I got the crock pot and I also got the microwave in black sesame. And I love, love both of them. So I've had the option to, or the opportunity to use the microwave multiple times, including for my coffee. Um, Christmas mug, still drinking out of Christmas mug. And then I recently went to, there is coffee in there too, by the way. People be like, he's got an empty cup. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, and then the crock pot, if you guys follow me on Instagram as well, then you saw, um, I went to a Turkish dinner recently at a friend of mine's house and uh, they had a belly dancer and it was amazing. And I brought a eggplant beef stew that um, I found online. The recipe was super, super simple. And uh, I brought that in the Drew Barrymore crock pot. It was great. So that's everything. Check out the links below. We've got more DIYs coming up really, really soon, like really soon. And uh, some thrift flips, some Easter DIYs, like a lot of spring stuff, and just uh, some fun organization stuff as well. All right, guys, until next time, I will chat with you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>